Hey, so today I'm here to do a get ready with me kind of first impression on the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Full Spectrum Palette. This thing, okay, this is adorable right here. This, that's so cute. It's got a bunch of colors, I'm sure you know. Hold on, let me open it. Wow, this is, this is great. This mirror is just not helping anything. This is what it looks like. Yeah, there we go. And basically I used three colors. I used, I used the green, I used the blue, and I used the white. Sorry, I was gonna do something with more than that, but honestly I felt like if I added more colors it would just end up ruining what I had already done, and I didn't want that to happen. I know I've done a look similar to this in the past, so that's my bad. Like, I, I planned on making it look different, but then I didn't. If you still wanna see my first impression and just a whole get ready with me, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my NYX eyeshadow base, <laughs> the white one, of course because we want to make these colors pop. Okay, I think I'm going to set this with the white shade in the palette. It's called Bump. See what this looks like. Okay, I'm going to start by taking the shade Hatter. <laughs> I feel like I cannot talk right now. The shade Hatter, which is like a really pretty green color. I'm packing this all over the first half of the lid, I guess. Slightly bringing it into the crease. I really have no idea what I'm doing right now. Like, I kind of have an idea in mind, but I could not decide what colors to use. So I'm probably just going to try to use as many as I can. And if this turns out crazy, then oh well. Now I'm taking the shade Blindsided, which is blue. I'm just going to put this on the outer half, kind of. These might actually look even better if I were to have put a green and blue base. I don't know why I didn't think to do that. And here's what it looks like when you don't blend. So be sure to do that. I'm gonna take this blendy brushy thing and just, I'm scared. Is this adding color? <laughs> I'm trying to blend out this top part. Actually, I think we're gonna pick up some of the white and then just, just try to blend out the top. <laughs> See how much better that instantly looks? Like, it's ridiculous. Taking this giant brush and putting some blue on it and trying to blend. FYI, every eye brush that I've used so far is an e.l.f. one, so. You can create whatever you want with even the cheapest of brushes. I'm gonna pick up some more green and try to blend that up a little bit. Um, I'm using the same brush, but I keep using this Sephora color switch thing. It's like a giant weird sponge and I just like wipe it in there. I'm gonna blend like on top of these two and make sure that they're slightly blended together. I feel like I've made like a giant blue and green mess. I'm taking a new baby brush and I'm putting white on it and I'm gonna Try to pack it up under the brow because it was getting kind of muddy. Oh god, I feel like blue always looks so messy on me every time I use it, but this is what I'm gonna, gonna leave it at. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in the white shade. Does this have a name or is it just white snow? That's what it is. And I'm gonna do a winged liner with this. Okay, I've done basically one layer of that, and this is how opaque it is. Oh, this is how opaque it is, and uh, I'm gonna have to wait like a few minutes maybe, let it dry, do another layer, let it dry, do another layer, and then it will be pretty opaquely white. So I'm gonna do that, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, I finished uh, like a million layers of white, and this is what it looks like. The tail end of them still like looks blue. I guess it's just because it's never gonna be completely white. Whatever, I'm gonna put on some mascara, and now I'm gonna use L'Oreal telescopic mascara so that I can get really close to the roots of my lashes. You know what I'm wondering? Do I even need false lashes today? I feel like L'Oreal telescopic is doing me justice. Okay, so instead of using falsies, I'm just gonna put on a bunch of mascara because I feel like this one's making my lashes look pretty good. Okay, I'm done with my eyes. I'm ready for primer. I'm gonna use the NYX Honey Do Me Up primer. This is an interesting primer. It's very sticky I would say you'd think it'd be dewy but like I just feel like it's really sticky when I'm trying to get it out of the bottle it's sticky and whenever I put it on my face and blend it out it becomes sticky so okay for foundation I have my Revlon color stay combination oily foundation in the shade buff this is probably going to be too light for me but I'd rather it be too light than too dark so it'll be fine but what I've got this exciting is I got this new 
sponge from shopmissa.com. If you don't know, everything on there is a dollar. And a lot of people were giving this good reviews. And I got it wet already. And it sounds like... I don't know, you know what a stress ball sounds like? It has like it sounds like it has these little beads in it. That's what this reminds me of. But this is from the brand AOA Studio Wonder Blender is what it says. This is what it came in. And I'm going to try it today. I'm, that's why I'm using the Revlon Color Stay because I do like to use this with a sponge. I don't like to use all my foundations with a sponge. But we're going to see if this does anything awesome. It like definitely expanded when I got it wet. But like it's like I feel like inside it feels hard. Like there's something hard in there. Huh. It sounds like a freaking bouncy ball is bouncing on my face. It definitely is harder than my Real Technique sponge and definitely harder than the Beauty Blender. But it's not that much harder. Like, this is actually doable, whereas some that I've tried are just like ridiculous, like not possible to use at all for foundation. I feel like it might be shearing out the foundation, which sponges do that sometimes, but probably because it's soaking a lot of it up. I don't even feel like, well, I guess. On camera, it's definitely more seeable where the foundation is at, but in person, I feel like it really looks like it's like soaking into it. But it seems to be blending out really good on the face. Like it's not streak, streaky, streaky or anything. And I've decided I enjoy using the, the side of this better than the this part. I don't know why this part might feel harder, but also it's so big that like it's hard to get in these areas. So I think I like the tip better. Okay, before I try that with concealer, I'm going to set my forehead with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade Transparent so that it doesn't crease, like always. Okay, I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, Contour Concealer in the shade Fair. Jesus, I made weird noise. I haven't used this in, I haven't used this, wow, I feel like I cannot talk. I haven't used this in a minute because the shade is so light and I had a tan, so I'm excited to use it again because I do love him. Now let's try to blend that out with this here sponge. See what happens. I really feel like the tip of this seems a lot softer than the bottom of it. That definitely totally worked. This is a pretty good sponge. I think I like it. I don't love it. Like I don't think it's as good as my Real Techniques ones, which I actually prefer over the Beauty Blender. But this is good. And for a dollar, I mean, if you want a really cheap sponge, just go buy this or buy like several of these. Obviously, I have no no idea how long it will last. Like. Maybe it'll end up breaking down at some point and getting holes in it, but it seems good right now. I really like it. I'm going to set my under eyes with the NYC Smooth, Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder and the shade Translucent. <laughs> Damn, Daniel. There's a lot of powder happening. Whew. I'm going to set the rest of my face with the Rimmel one again. Okay, I'm gonna wipe away any excess powder on my face and under my eyes. Okay, time to bronze. I used this the other day. I wanna talk about it. I've used this before and talked about it before, but you know what? <laughs> Lorac Tantalizer Baked Bronzer in the shade Matte Tan, I guess. This is a baby version, and I really just wanna buy the big version after I used it the other day because it really reminds me of the Too Faced Milk Chocolate, which I love. But, like, I feel like this one might look even more flawless and blend easier. It also might be more warm, now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> like, I feel like milk chocolate might be a little bit more cool toned, like, barely. But I really like them both, and I kind of want to get the big version of this. But I'm also very poor at the moment, so the odds are slim that that'll actually happen. I think I used it on my nose, too. Wait, did I? Now I'm scared, too. I'm just going to use a Makeup Forever bronze. Pro Bronze Fusion in the shade 20N. 20M. What the fuck? Uh, on my nose because using anything else kind of scares me. But I, th I feel like I used it on my nose the other day and that it worked good. I feel like. Who knows if it actually happened. These look almost the same color though. Very warm, both of them. Whenever you're pale, everything looks very warm. Which I don't hate, but it's like, why? Why you gotta do that though? I'm gonna take Benefit Hula in this weird palette thing and use him to deepen up my contour and maybe make it a little bit more cool toned. I feel like the contour is fucking intense today. But I kind of like it like that, so don't judge me. 
I think for blush I'm going to use Tarte Amazonian Clay blush in the shade Sensual because it's just nude so it'll pretty much go with anything that I put on my eyes or my mouth or my face. Okay so what I've been doing recently is taking the ColourPop highlighter super shock cheeked thing in the shade Honeymoon and just putting this on my face. Just this like not even put anything over top of it because bro it seriously is stunting. It looks like I literally don't even know how to explain it unless you can somehow see what it looks like. Can you tell? Like, I swear it looks like just really fine glitter, but it's like blue glitter and it's so fucking pretty. Look at that. Can you see it? You have to be able to see that. It's so pretty. I don't know. It looks like no other highlighter that I have and I want to marry it and have babies with it. I'm going to zoom you in this close to do highlighter because it's very important that you see what is happening. <laughs> I'm such a weirdo. Okay, so my camera started overheat. And so I changed my clothes, and I got fucking powder all over the sleeve of this, so if you see that later on, then oh well. So I kind of got ready. <laughs> all I did was like change my shirt. I didn't even do anything else with my hair because I kind of like it looking like a crazy mess. You probably can't even hardly see it because my hair is like always out of view of the camera. But I'm ready to move on. And what I was going to do was take my Tarte color wheel blush palette thing. I'm gonna take this one. His name is Idol, and he goes up here on my forehead <laughs> because he looks pretty up there. There's like shit in my hair. Like what? I'm a dirty human being. Get out. Go away. Hello. Well, I'm putting on makeup and making a video. Yeah. I do. Well, I wonder why. Because I'm sick. <laughs> By the way, if you're putting that ColourPop highlighter thing on, on your nose, be careful because I've realized that it kind of takes away some foundation. It can do that. So just be careful. Now, I need to finish my eyes and I literally don't know what the fuck to do. Like, I don't want to look crazily colorful, you know? I feel like blue and green is enough. But I wanted to use more colors from this palette. You know what's weird? I literally haven't even used a brush that comes in this palette. Why? I like always forget. And same with my other Urban Decay one. What is it? The electric palette? I like never remember to use a brush in it. Honestly, bruh, I don't want to use any more colors. Like I feel like as soon as I do, it's going to go downhill and my makeup is going to look like shit. So I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to take this Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner and put it on a pencil and put this in my waterline. I don't know why I wasn't talking while I did that, but I just put on Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Now I'm just basically over doing my eyes. I mean, I think they look pretty how they are right now. I just don't want to ruin them. I'm going to try putting on my NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Satin Ribbon. Is this too nude? Hmm. I'm gonna put my Smashbox uh, Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade In Demand on top of this one. Cause I think I like it better. It's more peachy and pinky. And honestly, the formula is better. It's going on more opaque. Okay, so I finished with my makeup and this is the end result. I've decided for my first impression thing on this where I used three colors, it's pretty good. I swatched them all already. I didn't want to do that on, on video because you can find them, like pictures of them everywhere. I've looked on like Pinterest and stuff and everyone's done swatches, but, but yeah, all the colors that I used on my eyes blended great. They look good. They're definitely better quality than like BH Cosmetics or Morphe, which is, I swear to God, the same exact quality as BH Cosmetics. So that's good. I don't know. I'm probably going to do another look using these, I think. I don't know what exactly to do. If you have any ideas, then tell me. But if you see anything colorful come up on my page, then you can probably assume that I use this palette because I want to do something else with like maybe the yellow and the pink and the red and the orange or something. I don't know. So yeah, that is all for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.